Hey, how's it going guys? It is Kevin and I am back out again. Don't push. Uh, me and my buddy Jeremy over here. He knows exactly. Just got up uh, in the Forest Lakes area. Actually in a camp spot that I was at a few weeks ago when I was scouting the area. And uh, it doesn't seem like anybody's actually been here since I left. All the firewood that I dragged over to the fire pit last time was still here. So we were able to get a fire going nice and quick. But uh, anyways, we're up here for our friend Goose Turkey Hunt. We're going to lend a hand on that. And it's also the opening day of squirrel season out here. So um, won't be doing too much filming tonight since it's already dark. But I just wanted to check in, get the video started. And uh, as per tradition here, me and uh, Jeremy are about to take a welcome shot. Alright, so, cheers bud. That's just a fact. Oh yeah. A lot of guns in North Carolina. And I love both sides. So I'll show you my setup here for the first night. Um, I'm going to be sleeping here on the ground. No tarp over me or anything for tonight. I got the the to-go systems trifecta ht bivy inside of there of a climate static v insulated pad and then i also had the to-go systems field blanket in there so it's going to get down to about 40 degrees tonight and get this damn flashlight off it's going to get down to about 40 degrees tonight and i'll be plenty warm uh, with that field blanket and that bivy I'm not worried at all about staying warm. So we're going to finish getting set up here and just uh, relax, hang out for a bit, have some drinks, wait for our friend Goo to get up here. And then tomorrow will be a pretty fun day. Uh, we'll be out scouting around looking for turkey. While we're out there, we're also going to be looking for uh, some opportunities on some squirrels. Good morning guys, so it is Saturday, it's around 8 o'clock in the morning. Our buddy Goo didn't get here till like 3, maybe 4 hours ago, so he didn't get much sleep. But uh, we're all up and about now, getting some breakfast going. And uh, we're doing a little bit of bacon here on the coffee spit, which I quickly showed on a previous video, but now I'm finally getting to put it to use. A little backpacking rotisserie spit here. So uh, cooking up some bacon on the fire here. Jeremy's over here, he's about to do some uh, hash browns and some eggs. And I'm gonna eat up a nice breakfast and then probably uh, dump some water on the fire, get that all taken care of, put out, and uh, we're going to go cruise around the forest roads here, do some scouting, uh, do some hiking around, see if, uh, see if we can find ourselves a turkey for goo. It is a late start today, but um, yeah, goo wasn't able to get out here until very late at night or very early in the morning however you want to look at it. Bacon is almost done. Jeremy's over here on hash brown duty. Got some orange bell pepper in there. Gonna crack some eggs in there. Get some breakfast in us. And we're gonna get on the move, do some scouting. Look at that bacon though. Oh yeah. Okay guys. Sorry for guessing. So we are loaded up in the truck and we're heading out now. Uh, Goo over here is on the lookout for turkey. Me and Jeremy will be helping him. And if we see any opportunity for squirrel, we will take it. But uh, we're just gonna be cruising on these forest roads here, going by 
water tanks and meadows and such and uh, checking out an area where I saw a turkey in a previous video from like two months ago or so but um, where's the if you haven't seen it, you should check it out yeah, there you go listen to goo he's why you guys are all subscribed to my channel anyways so take his advice on that and uh, I will check back once we get into some action here all right so trying to be quiet here but I found a spot that we're gonna go hike around and see if we can find anything So we're just looking for a way down this canyon and uh, I think I found a decent enough drop in right here. doesn't look like much but it's pretty steep. Goose over there somewhere trying another area. Jeremy's up here looking through the binos so yeah I'm about to Go down that path right there. All right, so uh, we're just about back at the truck. Hiked uh, through that canyon a ways, and uh, Goo was finding a little bit of sign, but it was all old. So we're gonna move on and uh, go check out some different areas. So um, we came back to camp. It's probably about one in the afternoon or so. Uh, we're just gonna hang out for a couple hours. When it gets closer to evening, we're gonna go back out cruising around, scouting for some turkey, and uh, some places that we can set up early tomorrow morning. All right, so I picked up the Scout LT. It's a new model from Simple Shot. None of us are slingshot is slingshotters. None of us do this, so this will be the first time for all of us, probably since we were all kids playing with the wrist rocket or something. So. We're gonna see what we can do. I'll probably set the camera up and get some shots. See if we'll be able to dial it in. So we're taking turns here. I've been shooting for 10 or 15 minutes maybe. And uh, we just watched a tutorial tip video on how to aim and uh, be accurate from Zach Fowler's YouTube page. So spend a little bit of time with this and get it dialed in. I was shooting, drawing with my left hand and holding the slingshot with my right and I was doing terrible. And then Jeremy mentioned try switching it around. That's that's how I shoot a bow, so now I'm holding the slingshot with my left hand, drawing back with my right, and I seem to be much more accurate like that. And uh, we're all starting to hit the target a lot more now, so and keep on keep on keeping on. Uh, so we're all three getting it dialed in pretty well here and uh, we took the paper target down that we're shooting at and I put up this target. Me and Maya both, I think Maya went two for five or something on this target. I got four out of five and then I actually got the smaller target here. 
which is, I don't know, the size of a half dollar or something like that. So, it's pretty fun getting it dialed in. My biggest issue right now is keeping my left hand steady when I hold it out. But yeah, we're getting it dialed in. This Miss. is pretty fun. And with some more practice, I think we'll, uh, we'll be pretty good. Once you, once you learn some of the aiming techniques and stuff like that, and you just keep shooting after, you know, round after round after round, it's pretty easy to start getting it dialed in. Oh. Whoa! Alright. Cheers, boys. Alright, guys, so we spent the last two hours or so scouting uh, the forest roads uh, in the general area here. And we're back at camp now. Got a fire going here. Gonna get a nice bed of coals. And uh, we're making up some cheddar worse tonight. And we also got some... Elk burgers! Elk burgers! So yes, we're... Not enough enthusiasm. <laughs> I do a retake. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> my, it was be, all my. He had, in the <coughs> he had the... Elk burgers! So yeah. Looking forward to dinner tonight, elk burgers and cheddar worse, so it should be delicious. And uh, we'll just be hanging out for a little bit, probably go to bed shortly after it gets dark. And I'm going to get an early start in the, in the morning tomorrow. Alright, so we've got Grill Master Myra over here, forming some patties. And we got ourselves a pound of this ground elk here, cut with 3% beef. I found it at Sprouts. And I don't know if it's a seasonal deal or what, but I've never noticed that Sprouts sells this. They also sell Wild Hog, uh, a good selection of Wagyu beef, um, venison, and a few others. So we're looking, looking forward to this, pretty excited about it. So we're going to make three nice burgers out of this. And we also have some Cheddarwurst that Goo brought along. And uh, we got a nice bed of coals here. I'm gonna grill it over the bed of coals. Got the nice campfire grill here. So I'm already through this elk burger pretty much. It is delicious, obviously. And then we got the cheddar worst on here next. Got the grill out the fire. The fire's built back up. And uh, we're just gonna be relaxing to, and enjoying the rest of the night here. I think we're planning on getting up around 6, 6.30. Somewhere between there is the sunrise tomorrow. Good morning, guys. What time is it? It's 5.55, just before sunrise, so uh, we're about to hit the road, go to a spot that we checked out yesterday. Alright guys, so uh, we're out cruising around the, the first spot that we stopped at uh, looking for turkey with goo. Didn't really find any signs, it didn't seem active, so he wanted to move on and go check out some other places. And while we were driving around the dirt road, saw a squirrel on the side, so I hopped out. <clears throat> Still kind of out of breath. I had to sprint like a, I don't know, 50 yards or so. Treat him, and uh, I was able to take him. He's in the back. I'll get a shot of it later. All right, so yeah, we're out here looking for turkey, but we came across a few squirrel. Goo just got one here. Good size, too. I think it's bigger than the one that I had gotten earlier today. And uh, there's that. that guy right there. And Jeremy's down at the base of this hill retrieving another one that we just got. So we've got a total of three today. Uh, so far so we're still actively looking for turkey obviously but if we get an opportunity for the squirrel uh, without 
blowing up a spot that looks active for turkey, then uh, we'll take it. Oh, there's the other one I retrieved. So, no luck here, and uh, it's about 11 o'clock. We didn't get a chance to eat breakfast this morning, so we're all getting pretty hungry. We're gonna head back to camp, get some breakfast going, and uh, figure out the game plan for the rest of the day. So, we are back at camp. Um, made up, there's like four strips of bacon underneath that turkey. We got some onion on there, fried up an egg, and the bacon grease. So we got a sandwich for lunch here. And, um, Goo has to drive all the way back down to the valley to work for an hour or two and he's driving back up so he can um, at least have a few hours tomorrow morning to try for some turkey again. But we came back and I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up but there's just an insane amount of bees flying around here. Uh, we had some food that we had left out and didn't put away this morning and now they're just crowding. And uh, they even flew over here to this blood stain that was a puddle of blood. And we we literally watched three bees slurp that blood up and drink it. So, never seen that before. This is my sleeping setup for this weekend. You can see it's just it's clear skies all weekend, so I didn't even bother with the tarp. But um, I got the to-go systems trifecta HT bivy here. And it's got the reflective layer on the inside. Uh, inside of that, I have my climate insulated static V pad. Got a little pillow, and I'm also using the Tugo Systems uh, 60 gram field blanket. I believe it's the 60 gram one, but anyways, the Tugo Systems field blanket. And last night it got down to um, somewhere between like. 36 and 40 degrees. Yeah, it's plenty warm in that setup. I was wearing my jacket. I went to bed with my clothes on basically. I still had my jacket on. But with that field blanket inside the trifecta and all the reflective properties of both the trifecta and the field blanket, uh, it's plenty warm. So, um, very, very impressed with that. I'll be doing a review soon on both of those pieces of kit. All right, so we got a splatter target here set up on a, a stump. So it's a little bit higher for us. And we're just getting set up over here. But Jeremy brought along a uh, old school pump action 22. So we got that to play with a little bit. He has his pistol and I have my pistol as well. We're going to have a little bit of fun with this while we wait for Goo to get back and then we'll get to uh, cleaning up all those squirrels. So we had some fun doing some shooting, ran out of ammo for the, for the pistols. Uh, we got a bunch of 22, but we grabbed out the, sh the slingshot again. And we're gonna, um, yesterday we were using the biodegradable clay ammo. So this time we're gonna try a little bit of the steel shot just to see how different it is. And then we'll probably switch back to the, the uh, biodegradable stuff. But anyways, um, I did absolutely horrendous on the pistol uh, so I definitely need to practice more on that uh, I just couldn't keep it steady so I'm, I'm guessing I'm gonna do pretty bad with the slingshot today as well I don't think the uh, I don't think the drinks that I had last night are helping me uh, keep my aim steady at all but I did fairly decent with the 22 so um, yeah we're gonna try out the slingshot again all right guys so I'm not gonna really show us breaking these squirrels down YouTube doesn't seem to, to like that and uh, I don't know if anybody really wants to see that but uh, anyways we got one squirrel here two and three we're gonna cook one up tonight on the coffee spit and Jeremy is trying what a lot of people know as the tail method 
which is something I've tried twice and I was unable to do it successfully. So I just skin it the normal way. A lot of people call it the shirt and pant method. But anyways, we're gonna take care of this, get these uh, squirrels cleaned up and probably go get some firewood and just relax for the rest of the night till, till Goo gets back here. All right guys, so we got the three squirrels cleaned and uh, ready for the freezer at home. And you know, at home we'll give them a even more thorough cleaning. We're gonna cook one on the fire later, but it didn't take us too long. I don't know, I wouldn't say anywhere in a half an hour to get all three of them done. Maybe, maybe longer, but. Um, a little bit of a frustrating process. These, these damn bees over here are just, bloodthirsty. they're bloodthirsty. Yeah, they're just, they're attracted to the, to the meat, to the blood. They're swarming all over us while we're sitting there handling the knives, trying to cut them open. So, uh, that slowed us down a bit, but everything's good to go. Got them in the cooler here. Here's the one we're going to cook up tonight. And, uh, there's the other two we'll be taking back. And we'll be trying the recipe from the meat eater cookbook for those two. Anyways, we're getting this fire going and grabbing some green leaves and trying to get it pretty smoky just to encourage these bugs to get the hell out of here. Or not these bees to get out of here. So, um, yeah, I just want to check back and, and say that that was what was going on. And we got this taken care of. If you can see down here where we had a bunch of blood dripping. There's one, two, three, four, there's like at least like eight bees flying around down here. So, a little bit of an annoyance, but everything's good to go now. So, I'm gonna grab a beer and uh, see, if, see if Maya wants to take a shot. So, <laughs> we were just hanging out at the fire and uh, my friend from camp, when I was up here a month or so ago, has wandered back. I was wondering if I'd see him again, but uh, yeah, we're trying to give him some space because sometimes he gets pretty jumpy. So I guess he's just a curious guy, but we don't want to make him nervous or anything. Uh, wild horses will charge at you and things like that if you get too close or you, you spook them. So I'm trying to give him some room, let him pass by. Good morning guys, so today is Monday and we're just about packed up, ready to go here. Um, last night we ended up just skipping over dinner. We didn't end up cooking the squirrel or nothing. We were just uh, having a good time with a few drinks, laughing around the fire, lost our appetites. So this morning we did get up uh, about 5.30 or so. And we went out so Goo could try for a couple hours. No luck on the turkey, unfortunately. But we didn't have much time and uh, we're very much amateur hunters. And this is the first time many of us have ever gone out and tried for a turkey. So it was still a good time. Um, I wasn't feeling that great this morning. had a headache and I slept uh, pretty bad last night. So. I just stayed in the truck and took a nap while Jeremy and, and Goo went out one last time. But uh, yeah, we're packed, ready to go home. So if you made it all the way to the end of the video, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.